Damien, we sat in the studio last month and we said, you know, the matches against France and, and the Netherlands weren't the matches to judge where Ireland are at. It was the, the Greek match. On, on that basis, what did you make of where Ireland are at last night? Uh, it was poor, you know. Um, a lot has been said since last night. Um, um, it wasn't a good performance by any stretch of the imagination. You know, you can pick moments out of games and say that, you know, we, 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 should, we should have scored early. You know, the game is over 90 minutes. We did not play well. Um, I always think when you look at it, if you're playing a team in opposition, you look and you say, okay, what are their attributes? What are their strengths? What are they good at? You know, if you'd ask us, Poyet, what would you like from Ireland today so you could maximise your uh, attributes? He would say time, space, make the pitch big, Ireland back four drop off, big gaps, lots of pockets to come into, you know? And if you're Ireland going into that game, you're saying, we need to like press these guys. I mean, they're ranked 50 in the world. Yes, they have certain attributes. They're very good technically. But if you take that away from them, what have they got? Unfortunately, we didn't take it away from them. We gave them exactly what they wanted. Pitch was huge. They mm. kept getting the pockets of space, chasing shadows. The, the, the two centre-backs dropped off. Evan Ferguson couldn't get a, a press on on the centre-backs. Will Smallbone was isolated. The two midfield players didn't know whether to stick or twist. Um, it was disjointed, the press. So I suppose ultimately, and I listened to the manager's interview before the game, and he talked, he was highlighting the first half performance against the Dutch, how good it was, how well we pressed, how we got in their faces, stopped them playing. That's what was required against the uh, Greeks last night. And it never came. And I don't understand why that didn't come. I don't know why. Maybe the manager did prepare for it. Maybe that's what he wanted. The players just didn't deliver that. But then you need to pick a team. High energy, lots of legs, um, agile, mobile team that can get after them in their own half and stop them getting into the routine. Stop them getting into their flow of just moving the ball and giving us the run around. Because once we had a little flurry at the start and they got control of the game, that was it. It was done. You know, they were enjoying themselves. They were finding every pocket of space. They were creating chances. And we were resorting to, uh, you know, balls in the box, half chances, glimpses, almost like opportunity of chances. Like the manager spoke about the Jason Knight one. It's not a chance. You know, he's miscontrolled it. But even if he controls it, he's still got two Greek defenders goal side and he's 25 yards out. It might be an effort on goal, but it's not a chance. The ball that Liam Scales puts across the box uh, uh, to Simicast was really well. Ogbeni gambled, Simicast got his body in the line. It wasn't a chance. It was really well defended. So they're not opportunities. They're almost opportunities to have chances. Mm. And then the second half, they just dropped in and they just were solid. And we were around the outside and we were hoping, hopeful balls in the box and it never came. But the game was lost in the first 40 minutes. I don't understand why the high press didn't come. The same first half performance against the Dutch. And that unfortunately is on the manager. Either A, he asked the players and they didn't deliver or B, he didn't ask them. I wasn't sure what the game problem was last night. I was trying to figure out. I didn't know. We were all at sea.